was the time of King Arthur. And far back in the great greenwood, there lived a young boy named Taliesin. But Taliesin was not the son of a king, or even the son of a great knight. Taliesin was a slave to a witch named Caredwin. Most witches are very, very good people. Caredwin was not. Caredwin had a son, dark and twisted in his heart. The other children made fun of her son, and so she plotted against them. I will brew my son a potion of wisdom. He will have all of the knowledge of the world. And he can use that knowledge to destroy his enemies. Not easy brewing a potion of wisdom. It has to be stirred for an entire year. And so the witch called her slave. Tell you that? Come here. Taliesin, you will stir the pot. But I'll grow hungry. I'll throw a spell on you so you won't have to eat. I'll grow tired. I'll throw a spell on you so you won't have to sleep. All you need to do is stir the pot. And he did. For an entire year. Taliesin stirred the great black cauldron until all of the liquid in it had boiled down to just three drops. Two of those drops contained a deadly poison. The third held all of the knowledge of the world. Hard to stir a cauldron with only three drops in it. Taliesin had to climb up onto a stool and lean out to keep those three drops moving. Then, into the cabin, came the witch's other sleigh, a wrinkled old man. His job was to tend the fire. He tossed log after log after log under the cauldron until the flames were leaping up the side. Good enough when the cauldron was filled with liquid, but with only three drops left, it grew so hot that the sides of that cauldron began to glow red. Those three drops sizzled and popped and bounced around until one of them shot straight up out of the cauldron and landed on Taliesin's hand. Ow! When Taliesin put his hand to his mouth, he swallowed that drop. And suddenly, Taliesin knew everything. And the first thing he knew was that the witch would not be happy. Quick as he could, he ran out the back door into the front of the cabin. Came the witch. Taliesin! Taliesin! She looked inside the cauldron, saw that there were only two drops left. She knew what had happened. The back door was open. She went to it. There was Taliesin running down the path. Taliesin! Come back here right now! But Taliesin did not need all of the knowledge of the world to know. That would be a really bad idea. Taliesin ran all the faster for the witch's screaming. She reached behind the door, pulled out an old hazel tree branch, tucked it underneath one leg, and with a whispered word to the wood, it lifted her off the ground and she flew off toward the boy. He ran as fast as he could, but no one outruns a flying witch. She was just about to grab him when he remembered, Wait! I know everything! 
I know magic. And quick as light, he changed himself into a rabbit that took off into the bushes. But the witch knew her business. She changed herself into a fox. The race was on. Back and forth through the bushes they ran until they came to the edge of a great river. Taliesin jumped as far as his rabbit legs would take him, but not quite far enough. Just before he hit the water, he changed himself again, this time into a sparrow, a small bird that flew back off into the forest again. The witch, right behind him, changed herself into a sparrow hawk. Round and round through the trees they flew until they came to an open meadow. In the middle of that meadow stood an old barn with the door wide open. The two birds dove through that open door, and as Taliesin flew over a haystack, he changed himself again, this time into a hayseed that dropped down into the stack. The witch landed next to the haystack and changed herself into a chicken that began to pluck at the hayseeds. One here, one there, and then, whoop! The witch swallowed Taliesin. But the witch had forgotten one very important thing. Chickens don't have teeth. She hadn't cracked the seed before she'd swallowed it. So there was Taliesin, safe and whole, in the gizzard of the witch. And then Taliesin performed his last act of magic in the contest. He changed himself back into a young boy. Feathers drifted to the ground. Taliesin picked little bits of chicken goo off of his arms. And for the first time in his entire life, Taliesin was free. Tale of Dalyasm from Welsh mythology.